live from Colby College, it's Central Maine Mustangs Playoff Hockey. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast. Greg Glenn and Rob Munzing with you, and it's Valentine's Day, and there's love in the air. And if you love playoff hockey, well, Rob, you're in the right place. Well, you know, Greg, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, I am the poet laureate of Munzing Media. So I've, <laughs> I put together a little ditty today with Valentine's Day. Roses are red, violets are blue. Keep your head up or I'll hit you. <laughs> Very nice. And it should get physical here between these two teams as they come into this one. This is the NECA Colonial North quarterfinal. The winner of this one will face Wentworth on Saturday. And uh, the winner will go to Nashua, New Hampshire. There is a lot on the line here tonight for the Mustangs. When I talked with Jordi Kanoran before the game, obviously wanting to advance is the priority. But along with that would also come probably and much more likely a higher ranking, which would give them a really good chance to get into the national tournament. And obviously with the final rankings coming out next Monday, that is the goal for this team, is to win this game tonight and then see how the Ducks will fall. So the idea here tonight is that the Mustangs have lost twice this season to Colby. They are going to try and get it to be the third time is the charm. <laughs> Head coach is Yordi Kanorn, of course, of the Mustangs. I talked with Yordi before this game here tonight, Rob, and he was talking about how there are a few keys to victory in his mind. He says they've got to keep poise and possession. He said they've got to convert on their chances, and they've got to be disciplined not only in their structure, but also stay out of the penalty box. He said that was a big problem in the second meeting. The Mustangs went up 2-0 and then got into penalty trouble. So they will try and avoid doing that here tonight. And, uh, of course, the first game up here, he also said they had their chances. The game went to OT, and uh, they just couldn't pull it out. But tonight we'll play as long as we need to because someone's going to advance, and it should be a good one. Records for both these two teams, Mustangs 15-3-2-1. The Mules, a record of 14-1-1. By the way, that loss and the tie both of them to Dartmouth. And as we know, Dartmouth, a very good team. I think the headline in this one tonight is that Mitch Ham for the Mules, their leading point scorer, is going to be out of the lineup. He is out because he took a hit to the head in their last game out against Thomas. And they just don't want to take any chances. So he will not play. They've also got a plethora of other players not in the lineup. Aiden Agarwal, Gabriel uh, Ennis Beging, also, Julia Miamonis, Nayoya Mayara, Thomas Moro, Peter Nelson, Woody Reckett, Ben Scully, Noah Milski, Dove Shore, and Peter Santa Oslanio. They have a lot of people traveling abroad, Rob, because Why? this is, of course, club hockey, and they've got other you know, priorities, and many of them over actually in Australia. But the Mustangs have their full complement. That's the good news for Mustangs fans. As they come back up to center, this is Gabe Poirier. He is the leading scorer. He has 50 points. He leads the entire conference in points. He will be certainly one to watch here tonight. And Poirier will dump it in deep, and we will get an icing called stop play. 19.28 to go here in the first period. Well, I just want to thank all the fine folks up here at Colby for their hospitality tonight as well as welcoming all the Colby fans. Uh, they normally stream, but they had some malfunctions with their equipment, so they were going to put our link out for the Colby fans, so we welcome you all in as well. Glad you're with us here on a very important night for both of these two teams and their playoff chances. As this one goes back into the offensive zone, chasing after it is Chip Strano. Comes up along the wing, chipped back out to center and sent all the way down by Sicarella. And that'll be an icing call here that will send the puck down the length of the ice. Face off off to the right here of Sebastian Couturier who gets the start for the Mustangs. He has been sensational for them all season long. And he gets the start. Cole Turner down the other end of the ice will get the start. He's one of the captains for the Mules as this face off won by the Mules. Get a quick shot on goal. And a quick look there at Sebastian Couturier, who makes the save. Cole Turner, also the president of Colby Hockey, behind the scenes doing all the work. He's the one who communicated with me as to what we would have and the facility that we would be able to use. And all is good. Thank you, Cole. And off 
to draw here. Comes back out to the blue line. Kept in there at the stripe as it's pushed back in by Strano again. Strano and Stone back at the blue line are their top two defensemen for the Mules. As you see him try and push it into the zone here. Back to get it now is Mitten. Mitten goes into the corner. Battles along the far corner side boards there. Tying up with Brennan Bullock. Now pushing and shoving forward is James Riley. Comes up along the near side dasher board. Back out to center. Thrown back into the zone. Mustangs will retreat back into their own zone. Long pass back up to center. Handled along the near side wall. Nice drop pass there by Knowles. Cutting into the zone now is Hartwell. He's roughed up in the corner. Puck stolen away there. And bent back around the boards by Weinberger. Up to center. Rifled into the zone along the left wing side. Matthewson will give chase. Mustangs first ones to it. Back out to the right point. Held in there as Houle looks to try and get a shot on. Chip back out to the line. Another shot by Houle. This one never got through. Ivy redirects it into the corner where Cam Henderson goes to pick it up. Flip back out to center ice. Mustangs here in the middle of a line change. Head coach of the Mustangs is Jordi Canorn in his third season with the Mustangs. Done a terrific job. Michael Roy, the second year coach for the Mules club hockey program. Very well known and respected in the Waterville community. As this one gets through, but a save there at the last second by Couturier as it nearly crossed over the goal line. This one comes back out to the point and then pushed back out the other way. Sent around the boards to the near side wall. And it'll float back toward the high slot, taken there by the Mustangs. As they send it back out to center and out of play. So the base off here will take place back down on the Mustangs defensive end. 17-13 to go here in the first period. As Rob said, glad you're with us here for Mustangs hockey in the NECA quarterfinal tonight here at Colby College. Off the draw, quick shot, kick save there by Couturier. Got his right pad on that one on a quick shot. Off the stick of Brendan Bullock. Here's another chance as Bullock sends one on goal. This Mules team right now buzzing in the offensive zone. You take a look at how these two teams come in. We talked about the records. Well, let's take a look at the rankings. The Colby Mules rank sixth overall. The Mustangs rank 16th. That 16 is very important. The top 16 get into the national tournament. Over to the wall. Taken there and played back the other way now by Gabe Poirier. Poirier leaves it at the line. Now they get it back to Matt Poirier as he comes over the blue line. Poirier streaking in, left-hand side. Floats one out in front, kick saved there by Cole Turner. Oh, what a good opportunity right there for the Mustangs early on. 16-41 to go in the first period. Opportunities at both ends. Yeah, I also want to send thanks out to uh, Colby, a uh, to our AD, uh, Mustang AD, Dave Gagne, for okaying us coming up and doing this. So. Glad to be here, great opportunity. And here's a chance now, cutting into the zone for Brooks as Bear Brooks takes it to the corner. Couturier coming out of his net to play it. Back out now, Houle, Houle shot, a stick save there by Couturier. Up along the wing, sent back out to center. That's Evan Knowlton chasing after it. He fell down there. It's one of their top speedsters on this team. Comes back now out to center. Handled there as it goes into the zone. Mustangs go after it. First one to it, though, along the wall is Trevor Matthews. Out to the line, held there by Kwok. Kwok trying to get the shot. He's a very skilled defenseman as well. They've got a really good defensive core. That's one of the things when I talked with Michael Roy about this team, he said really good goaltending and a really good defensive core. And again, uh, worth noting, Mitch Ham, their leading goal scorer, point scorer, is out of the lineup here tonight. He's out with a head injury and will not go in this one. That, of course, mixes up lines and can really dishevel a team. And as we've already talked about, they're missing a lot of guys anyway because of traveling abroad. They've also got Thomas Morrow, who's now playing lacrosse, so he's unavailable. And those are some key losses for them, especially up front. This one deflected up and out of play. 
with 15-11 to go here in the first period. It's Colby nothing and Central Maine nothing. CM Basketball on Seawolves Network tonight, the YSCC Network. The women won by eight. First game, second game be going on now. Concurrently with this one. A busy night. Get a good fix of Mustang Sports tonight. Chance here at the line, kept in by the Mules as it comes back out to center. Handled now by Ivy. Cody Ivy has been one of the top players for the Mustangs all season. Down low, out to the line, back out to Rio. The shot got blocked down in front. Back the other way now, wrapped around the boards by John Bloomer. Out of Chicago, Illinois. This one comes back into the high slot. Quick shot there over the crossbar on the chance in front as Bear Brooks sent that one over the crossbar. Back out to center, glove down here as the Mules look to try and re-enter. Chip Strano had trouble with it. They're in the middle of a line change here. Pass is off the mark. Strano goes back behind his own goal to play it to the wall. Redirected, stolen away by the Mustangs, and they can't keep it in. Back the other way now, chance here for Brooks. Brooks tries to go between his legs, got knocked off the puck there on a nice check by Nate Marcotte. Comes back out to the line. Held there by Spencer Lee, and a shot on goal for the Mules with 13.57 to go in the first period is wrapped up by Sebastian Couturier. So the faceoff will come off to his left. Take a look at these two teams. As we mentioned, if you're just joining us, the Mustangs fell in both of the games to the Mules this season. And those games were back on November 19th. That was a 2-1 to one loss. And December 6th, a 7-3 to three loss. In that 7-3 to three loss, the Mustangs came flying out, got the lead, and then took a couple of penalties. Yep. And uh, Mules jumped them. Here's a chance now in the high slot as Brooks tries a shot on goal, redirected to the back wall. 13.30 to go in the first, redirected over the crossbar by Bear Brooks. He's been buzzing here in the first period. Now they knew somebody was going to have to step up in Ham's absence, but he certainly has taken on that role early on. Yeah, much better chances so far for Colby in this one, probably. I would say about uh, four to one. Four to one, yep. As this one comes back the other way, now the Mustangs looking to get some offense going. Comes back over to the corner where Evan White will play it. <laughs> Limited zone time so far for the Mustangs. Up to center, fluttering puck comes to the blue line, pushed back the other way by the Mustangs, rolled over to the far wing. After it there is James Sucarella. Rattled around the boards, back out to the line. Kept in by Kwok, nice save there by Katoria. He's had to be sharp here early on. No penalties in this one as it comes back up to center. Up ahead along the right-hand side, after it now is Melanson. Melanson puts on the brakes, throws a shot on goal. That one goes into the corner. Back behind the net, centering feed, no one home. As it comes back onto the stick of Weinberger and bent back down the other way. Long out the pass to Melanson over the line with Keefe. Couldn't get anything going there. The Mustangs in the middle of the line change. Knowles in on the forward check. They push it up to Preston Lee. Lee trying to work hard against Ivy. Both players go down. They're going to let him play tonight <laughs> as it goes back behind the net. And that's kind of what you want to see in playoff hockey. Absolutely let great. Them, let them decide the game. Outlet pass comes up to center. This one will be a long pass. They're going to wave off icing here. Ooh. That one almost took an awkward bounce toward the goal. Turner had to be well aware of that one. These are bouncy boards. I've been here many a time before, Rob, and I can tell you. Oh, a kick save there. Puck is still loose as it goes to the back wall. Chance here now. Again, Ivy, tough angle shot. Nice save there by Turner. Tucking his blocker against the post. He's lost his stick. Picks it up again as the puck comes back out to the point. Rio trying to get a shot on, couldn't do it. These boards behind the nets are very bouncy. If you get one off that kick plate, it can come out pretty quick. Here's a chance now into the zone. Backhand feed in front. Puck still loose and gobbled up there by Turner. Well, there's more of what we've been used to seeing with the Mustangs. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to pick up Rob after the 
season high 11 goals that they scored in the victory over Southern New Hampshire University back on February 9th. That was the biggest victory they've had this season. So they've certainly got some good offensive momentum going. Back now, Poirier with it. Leaves it off here for Marcotte. Tries to clear the zone, couldn't get it out. Back now behind the net. Taken there by the Mustangs. Having trouble clearing it out. Nolan retreats back into his own zone. Leaves it there now for Marcotte. Up along the wing to Michael Bello. This pass actually going to end up being a shot on goal here. And Turner will cover to get the whistle. 10.33 to go here in the first period. Colby nothing. And Central Maine nothing. So the faceoff here will come off to the left of Cole Turner. One of the captains along with Preston Lee. Michael Roy, the head coach, talking about the leadership of this core group. He actually brought in 11 freshmen that wanted to try out for the team. And uh, that really helped grow them pretty quick. <laughs> and they're all really talented players, he said. Up now to center. This one comes across the blue line. This time on the stick of Brooks again. Brooks tries a tough angle shot saved by Couturier. Yeah, good near post work there by Couturier. He has really been very good all season long. Shot on Turner. He makes that stop. For that matter, all three goalkeepers. Yeah, we've no seen saying. them all in action on Munsing Media's coverage. Yes. Amazing uh, club hockey team with three quality yeah. keepers. Absolutely. Puck goes back behind the net here as the Mustangs try and start the breakout. Rio up to center. Bouncing puck over the blue line. Now the Mules will come back the other way. Sent in by Strano. Behind the net is Henderson. Over to the wall. Cleared back out now by Johnson. Couldn't get it outside the zone. Now the zone exits right now for the Mustangs. Just not as crisp as they've been. Colby right there it seems like every time to hold the line. Mustang's going to have to mix it up there a little bit on the breakout to break through this Colby defensive structure. Sent in by Anderson off the back wall. This one picked up on the wing. Nicely done there by Pawson to keep the play alive. Johnson now to Pawson in the high slot. Pawson trying to work his way through the slot. Pulls it back out. Top of the left circle. 8.48 to go here in the first period. Mules now with the puck. Clean period. No penalties at all. Preston Lee, the captain over the line. Shoots it deep into the corner. Matt Poirier behind his own net. Exits it out of the zone. Mustangs here in the line change. 8.28 to go in the first period. Scoreless so far. Glad you're with us here on Munzing Media Sports for Mustangs Playoff Hockey. This is the NECHA Colonial North quarterfinal. Winner goes to Nashua, New Hampshire to face Wentworth on Saturday. This one whistles wide of the net. Back over to the far side boards. Here's a chance now for the Mustangs. Quick shot, saved by Turner, and he holds on to the rebound. 8.02 to go in the first, and the Mustangs and the Mules still scoreless. Chris Wheel on our camera tonight, and you can see it's a beautiful view up here. No netting. <laughs> it's the only time I'm going to say it, Greg. No netting. Okay, okay. And it looks beautiful. The lights are great here. Yeah, I mean, everything really about this is star quality. It's like top notch. It's like being in an NHL place. The picture just pops. I hope you enjoy it at home. It really looks slick here from our vantage point. As it comes back out to Bellow, now to the line. Low drive there by James Sucarella goes wide. Back out to the left point, held in there by the Mustangs. Mitten working hard along the wall. Comes off the boards. Knowlton tried to peel it off the boards, couldn't get it as it flutters back out to center. James Zuccarello goes D to D here as he works it over to Mitten. Mitten over the red line, stick handles across now and throws it into the zone. Back now centered down in front and backhanded out of the zone. Mustangs will regroup. Handled there by Harshman across the line, looking to try and get it there to Knowlton. 
Just rolled off his stick. Turner clears it away. Back the other way now. Here come the Mustangs again. Poirier over the line and uh, trying to distribute it out in front, but nothing doing there. Sent back into the zone now by Trevor Matthewson. Colby pressures the puck. Nolton along the wall. Back behind the net. Bellow with it. Up along the wing. And bent back out to center. Comes back down into the offensive zone here as Hartwell trying a chance in the high slot. Couldn't get anything going. 6.35 to go here in the first period. Back and forth we go. It was a little lopsided to start. Mustangs have settled into this one. Back the other way now. Up to center. Marcon over the line. Fires a shot and a glove save there by Turner. And he will hold on. Well, that's the kind of rush that Nate, uh, yeah. Nate Mockhart can bring you from his vantage point back on D, the long strides. He eats up ice very quickly. And saw his family coming in in full, full stride here. Said hello to them. Great family. Off the face off here. Comes back behind the net. Jack Keefe on the forward check. Trying to work it off the stick there of Evan White. Comes back out to center. Thrown back in by Matt Poirier. 6.07 to go here in the first. Scoreless so far. Greg Glenn and Rob Munzing with you here on Munzing Media Sports as it comes along the wall. Alonzo trying to dig for it. He had a hat trick last time out. Here's a shot. That one rebound over to the corner and back out to line. Another shot. This one goes over the crossbar. Along the wing. Back out to the line. Pour your shot. Blocker to side there by Turner. Net comes off the moorings and wiggles around like a wobble. And uh, they'll put that back on pipes. 5.42 to go in the first period. And I think they're trying to figure out if this net went off because Colby knocked it off or because the Mustangs knocked it off. That's what they're discussing because that's going to impact where the face-off's going to be. Unique design, I think, to the rink with the benches being on opposite sides of each other. Kind of like the Colisays like that. Yep. Yep. Taking a look down at the CM bench, see where they are, and Colby across the way. Well, it is more of a you know more modern look yeah. because of course you get the teams coming together and you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it is, and of course here they actually have the club team locker rooms right next to each other. So uh, when they play here. At the Division Three level, they have the locker rooms on opposite sides, mm -hmm. which does make it a little easier strategy-wise as well. You're not talking or coming out in front of the competition if there's an injury or something like that. So. Uh, every team these days is looking to try and get the maximum advantage. Across the line, here comes Kwok, tries to get through. Oh. As that one's poked away there by Couturier. Back over now, out to the line, held in by the Mules. Puck in the high slot, scooped up here by the Mustangs. Up to center, right-hand side, into the zone. Poirier, burst of speed, takes a top angle shot, it comes into the crease, and it gets pushed away by the Colby defense. Nice job there to get back on the play by Kwok. Back the other way now, breakaway. Here comes a chance for Bear Brooks. Brooks shot, rings one off the iron. Ooh. Back out to the line. That drive was stopped by Mitten. Brooks with a shot. What that a play by Mitten. Away. Oh, man, Mitten made a great stop. Here's another chance now. This one cleared away. Wow, back and forth we go. One in the crease, one off the iron. Yeah, Poria dropped that one in there and seemed to lay in there forever. And then the breakaway down the other side. Wow. Four but the follow-up <laughs> shot, Mitten threw himself in front of a laser beam. Yep. Yep, that was a great individual effort by him to get back into the play for the first year, to get back and make that play. That's a sacrifice right there. Off the draw, quick shot on goal there by Brooks. A right pad save this time by Couturier. Back out to the line. This one doesn't get through. Another block shot for Mitten. This one bounces to center ice. Floated over the far side wall. After it there, looking to get it is Lee. As this play continues as the mule got upended in front. That was Weinberger. Back into the zone now. Handled here by Emmett Sullivan as he goes along the back wall. Turnaround shot, rebound out in front, and another whack at it by Sullivan. Still loose off the back wall again. Back over to the wall. Rio keeps it in. 
Into the circle, shot there, and another save by Turner, and he'll hold on with under four to go here in the first. Now well, both teams now certainly with chances. <laughs> Sullivan with a good individual effort there, gave his line mates a couple of opportunities by scrambling, and a couple of pucks lay outside the crease area, but they're not able to get jump them. Face off here, won by the Mustangs, as this one is deflected up and out of play. Souvenir for a fan here at Colby, with 3.55 to go in the first. Face off will come off to the left of Cole Turner. Off the face off, Munzing Media Sports bringing you this game here from Colby College. Glad you've joined us. Back and forth we go. If you're just joining us, Colby has won both games so far this season. A lot on the line here in the quarterfinals. A drive by Ivy. This one blocked aside and then sent back the other way. This one will go all the way down. It'll be a nice and call with 3.32 to go here in the first period. Hoping to have Coach Kenora come up for his normal first period intermission interview. Faceoff will come off to the left here of Turner. One by the Mules up along the wing. They try and clear it out off the stick of Riley. They can't get it out. A turnaround shot there. Alonzo tried to fire one, but he just fanned on it. Back out to the line. They keep that one in. As it comes loose now, Keith digging for the loose puck. Trying to get it there to Melance and couldn't get it to him. Back the other way now. Sucarello will go back into his own zone to pick it up. Plenty of real estate here. Sucarello to center. Good burst of speed to the neutral zone. Fires a shot just wide. There's one of those hops hot off the boards as it comes now all the way back out to center. Mitten taken down there, pushed from behind. As we said early on, the indication from the officials was to let him play. Here comes Melanson with a shot. That one just goes wide. Back along the near wing. Melanson digging for it in the corner. Melanson trying to track it down along the back wall. John Bloomer there takes the puck and carries it back to center himself. Over the line, shoots it in deep. Comes around the boards, trying to chip it out to center. Now Bello will bring it with him. Three on two if they hurry. Here comes Bello across the line, looking in front. Couldn't get it across. Now it comes off the wall, out in front again. Back to the line. Rio looking through traffic. Couldn't get it through. Back out now as it's the high left circle. Stolen away here. Here comes Poirier. Poirier backhand shot behind the net. Trying to tuck it into the short side. Loose rebound in front, and Turner's going to cover it. Oh, my, what an opportunity right there for the Mustangs with 150 to go here in the first period. Well, I think you hit it about the first six minutes, seven minutes. It was Colby in the offensive end. Then it was equal, and now the last couple of minutes, the Mustangs have established their zone play. So it'll be Knowlton here on the draw. And off the faceoff, comes into the corner. Back in front now, chance here for the Mustangs. Knowlton back to the line, they can't keep it in. Mules will look to break it out here as the Mustangs make a line change. Spencer Lee shoots it around the boards. Comes over now where Marcotte picks it up in the corner. Marcotte pass to center, broken up. Ivy was looking for the home run pass. This is also a pretty big playing surface, Rob. Too. Yes. It's a much bigger playing surface than down at the Norway Savings Bank Arena. You're right there, Greg. Good pick up. Yep. You notice the space. You know, you can tell. And uh, both of these two teams known for their team speed as we go under a minute to go here with the whistle. And I think that does play, obviously, to both of their strengths to have a lot more open ice. 58 seconds to go here in the first period. Still scoreless in an nail-biter here. Well, if you're either team, it's okay to tie the period. You just don't want to lose a period inside of a minute. 
Faceoff here comes off to the left of Turner. One by the Mules as they look to come the other way. Melanson able to hold it up at center. Bouncing puck now picked up here by Alonzo. Across the line, got some help as that shot comes on goal. Turner makes the save. 42 seconds to go here in the first period. Still scoreless. Yeah, that was a bouncing puck, and Turner had to be equal to it. And used the glove down low, much like a first baseman scooping a one-hop throw. A lot of activity, actually, talking about the baseball team. They were practicing here today. Women's tennis team also practicing tonight. Of course, the Division Three program here in the NESCAC. And a lot of the teams during the you know D3 season will get in evening practices when they can with their studies. Beautiful field house here. Oh, it's incredible. Absolutely. Harold Alfond, uh, of what course, a man. yep. A lot of uh, great contributions to many facilities across the state, and this is certainly one of them. 24 seconds to go here in the first period. Up to center now, Weinberger coming in, got around, Mitten, oh, went into the boards hard there. As the puck comes back out to the line. Shot here through traffic over the crossbar. Played around the wing, kept in by Kwok, and then bounced over to the near side boards. Well, Anson got a stick on it. Challenges there is, it's right at the horn, a shot off the post as the period comes to an end. Well, a fitting end to this period. Both teams have had their chances, and it is a scoreless tie after one period of play. When we come back, we'll have more for you here, including our first intermission coming up on Munzing Media Sports. At Central Maine Community College, we are building things that last. We're investing in technology, new facilities, and offering more degree programs than ever before. You can get the traditional college experience at a fraction of the cost. And for some, it's even free. Wait, did she just say free? That's right, free tuition for Maine high school grads from 2020 through 25. Set your goals and find your path at CM. Let's build a future together. Same thing as always. Catch the front of the net. Uh, to make you what you are. Zero, three, one, two, three. Zero. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Sit right here. provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. Helping people is kind of ingrained into me. I am so glad that I chose to be here. It's a really great program. Primary in the, heart, so the instructors are super helpful. They really do set you up to be successful in the field. 
The new hospital simulation lab here at CMCC is a great addition. It's as close to replicating real life as you can get. We did an IV lab. With a mannequin, it's nice to get your toes wet before you jump into a clinical setting. Deep breath. CMCC is the best place to start nursing. It's challenging, but you are learning. We have a smaller size classroom, smaller ratio to instructors. It's affordable. It really provided me relief that I'm not going to accrue a lot of debt. I needed to set myself and my family up for success after. I'm going to come out of this able to actually practice as an RN in the real field. It's a wonderful opportunity. Here to Colby College, Greg Glenn alongside the head coach of the Central Maine Mustangs, Yordi Kanorin. And obviously, Yordi, playoff hockey, right? I thought the officials certainly let you guys play in that first period. Uh, what were your thoughts overall in the first period? Yeah, I think we came out a little bit sloppy, a little bit slow. Um, I still don't think we have quite our legs yet. Um, but at the end, we had some really good chances, a couple almost uh, goals. So we, we're starting to come around a little bit. But yeah, good clean period. And, uh, playoff hockey, like you said. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit bigger playing surface here at Colby. Talk to me about how that either plays into your advantage or a disadvantage. Um, you, you have to watch a stretch pass, but it can also be your advantage if you stretch the eyes out. Um, we always try to possess the puck so it can kind of help us with creating that possession, stretch them out, um, kind of try to get their D-zone structure out of place and then create offense off of that. Yep. Uh, let's talk, obviously, about goaltending. Sebastian Couturier has been great for you all year. Uh, he made some pretty good saves in that first period. Absolutely. A couple big ones. Kept the boys in it. Kept them going. So a uh, really good period by him. And just got to follow it up two more. So. Yep. Uh, obviously, Mitch Ham out of the lineup for them tonight. Uh, talk to me about, you know, just the opportunities they've had. They had some pretty good opportunities. What are you going to try and do here second, third period to try and limit those chances? Yeah, I think we get stuck in the D zone a little bit. Just got to use our brain a little bit more. Um, a little bit too panicky, I think. Uh, we just got to possess the puck, find the right outlet pass. Uh, if we don't have that, just high chip off the glass and get back to work. So. And uh, what are some of the keys in your mind for playoff hockey? I know you talk about some of the, the simple things to do, right? But obviously it's playoffs. Do, do the team feel it? I mean, I almost felt it around the guys here tonight. You know, they know this is a playoff game and they're amped up. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's always tough, right? You, you can't look at tomorrow because tomorrow might never be there. Um, so that, that's the hard part about playoff hockey. Um, I know those guys want to keep playing with each other. We want to be together as a family. Um, so that's what we're fighting for, just extend our season, keep playing, um, and hopefully win a championship in the end of it. So. All right, well, that sounds good. Thanks for joining us, and good luck the rest of the way. All right, that is Jordi Kinnorin. We will come back with more. Same thing as always. Take the front of the net. All those little things to make you what you are. Jim, I think one, two, three, zero. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Let's sit right here. The Hutchinson Family Sports Foundation is proud to support Munson Media's production of live streaming high school sports. We recognize the hard work and dedication of Maine's high school student athletes, and we applaud Munson Media's pioneering live streaming efforts. The Hutchinson Family Sports Foundation. And it changes the game 35 26. This has been a wacko affair. You can't win a game without proper planning and execution. Let Gosline Retirement Planning coach you into a confident retirement. Here at Gosline Retirement, we provide that proper planning and help you utilize a step-by-step -step approach on all facets of your retirement planning. We provide guidance on income planning, wealth management, understanding taxation, Medicare and long-term care, and legacy and estate planning. We pride ourselves on working hard for those who have worked hard their entire lives. So, schedule your appointment today and let the team at Gosline Retirement Planning put together a retirement game plan for you. I'm Greg Glenn, Athlete Brand Advisor and CEO of Pliable. 
Pliable helps high school, college, and professional athletes build their athlete brand. New name, image, and likeness opportunities are a game changer for athletes and for businesses. To learn more about social media marketing and endorsement opportunities for your brand, visit pliablemarketing.com or call 1707-PLIABLE. Exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. At Central Maine Community College, we are building things that last. We're investing in technology, new facilities, and offering more degree programs than ever before. You can get the traditional college experience at a fraction of the cost. And for some, it's even free. Wait, did she just say free? That's right, free tuition for Maine high school grads from 2020 through 25. Set your goals and find your path at CM. Let's build a future together. Same thing as always. Put the front of the net. All those little things to make you what you are. Jim, I think one, two, three, zero. Yeah. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Let's sit right here. Awesome. provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. Continue here with the second period coming up for the NECHA Colonial North quarterfinal here tonight between the two teams. The winner of this one will go to Nashua, New Hampshire. They'll face Wentworth on Saturday. That'll be the semifinals. Winner of that one will play on Sunday in the finals. And as we also mentioned here tonight, lot on the line for the Mustangs. They are the 16th ranked team right now. Top 16 will make it to Nationals. The rankings will come out on Monday. A win tonight here by the Mustangs 
When I talked with Jordi Canorin about this game here tonight, Rob, he said a win would pretty much put them in. Yeah, and that's exactly what they're playing for. All the marbles out of the marble bag, they're all out. Getting ready to shoot them here in the next two periods. One update, uh, Mustang fans on basketball tonight. The women won down at Southern Maine. The men with 5-17 left, a tied in the low scoring game, 18-18. Well, uh, we just hit a three, 21-18 Mustangs. All right. So we'll try to keep you updated on that between periods, but we got work to do here. Yeah, this is this is a real tight game right now. I think uh, you kind of hit the nail on the head. Obviously, Mules carried most of that first part of the first period, kind of evened out midway through. Mustangs took over a little bit late in the period, and uh, we'll see what continues here in period number two. First goal, huge. Yeah, definitely, especially in the playoffs. And you take a look, by the way, shots on goal in that first period. Mustangs actually ended up out shooting the Mules 18 to 10. No penalties in that first period. They've let them play here tonight. That's certainly something we've noticed as well. Well, and, and, the, and the teams have earned that because it's been good, clean play. Yep, that's true. As play continues here, the Mules now looking to try and come back to center. Over the line, bringing it into the zone. Handled there by Kwok as it goes around the boards. 19.30 to go, just underway here in the second period. Greg Glenn and Rob Munzing with you on Munzing Media Sports. I want to welcome all the fans tuning in from Mustang Nation and also all the Mules fans watching this one as this one comes down the length of the ice. Icing is waved off. Goes back over to the far side boards. Back out to center. Comes down low where Mitten goes back to get it. Deflected and back the other way. Mitten will carry it through center. Lobs one toward the net, high off the glass. Back the other way now, Mules with possession. Coming through center. And as it comes along the left wing side, handled there and then broken up by the Mustangs. Here comes Nolten. Norton fires one over the crossbar. Back over to the sideboards. Poirier back to the line to Sicarella. Down low in the corner. After it there is Brooks. He had a great first period for the Mules. This one now on the wing. Handled here by the Mustangs. Bello goes to get it. Backhanded though, back out to the top of the circle and then out of the zone. Yeah, very effective four check there though for the Mustangs on that shift. Mustangs certainly carrying the play here early on in the first two minutes. Comes over to the far side wall where Bear Brooks tries to bend it back out to center. Couldn't do it, needs some help. Long pass here. This will go down the length of the ice and be an icing call. 17.56 to go here in the second period. Scoreless so far. A lot of Mules and Mustangs fans have come here to the rink tonight. The Jack Kelly rink on the campus of Colby College to watch this one. Face off here, won by the Mules, pushed out to the blue line. Taken there, rocketed right back into the zone. Couturier out of his net to play it. Melanson tries to chip it off the wall. Back out to the blue line. Held in there at the point by Houle. Along the half wall. Brooks trying to get it out of the circle. Into the high slot, Mules still with possession here. Rattled around the boards, comes back out to the right point. Weinberger trying to keep it in, but we're going to get a whistle here. It'll stop play with 17-22 to go here in the second period. Still scoreless. Well, it just shows the depth that Kobe has built in their program, Greg, that they're missing all those kids that are overseas yeah. and, and out and, and still fielding a very competitive team. Off the face on, Mustangs will try and come back out to center. Ivy a burst of speed to go get the puck. Suits it out into the slot area. Nobody there for the Mustangs. Back out along the wall. Outlet pass up to center just behind the stick. Weinberg now back the other way. Weinberger's been an important role for them as well here with the Mustangs. Out of Brooklyn, New York. He's a defenseman, but today he's playing wing. And of course, with all the adjustments to the lineup, that kind of can throw a wrench into things, and he's kind of taking on some of that responsibility. 
Back out to the line. Here's a chance now. Poirier carries it along the left wing boards. Trying to get a shot off. That one redirected. And this will come back out to center as Mustangs again will regroup. They got to clear the zone there. Outlet pass up to center ice. Picked up by Bello. He's tripped up. Here's a chance right on the doorstep and a save by Couturier. Coming right down the slot was Ryan Harper. Oh, what a great stop there by Couturier with 16 17 to go here in this second period. And he keeps it scoreless. Yeah, Couturier read that beautifully there. Saw the play develop. Came out on the shooter, cut down the angle, made the save. No juicy rebound either. Comes off the face-off circle, gloved down by the Mustangs. Trying to clear it out. It'll go back down behind the net. Mitten goes after it. Whoa, Ooh. floats out in front, and that one's in the back of the net. Well, that was a turnover there that hurts the Mustangs as John Bloomer picked up the bouncing puck. And with 16.03 to go here in the second period, the Mules are out in front. Well, the bane of any team, an offensive zone turnover there in a prime scoring area. And before you could blink, it was in the back of the net. Yeah, that was a tough situation there. We kind of saw it coming where the first time it came through, and then the second time the Mules made them pay. And as a result, it's going to be Bloomer getting the goal. And uh, just like that, he's got his 11th of the season. Well, Mule, uh, Mustang's got to get back to that four check they had on the previous shift that was really effective. Yep. Yeah, as this one comes back out to the line, this shot here deflected and goes now along the near side wall. Oh, good response right here. Yep. Mustangs need to get. Something going here on offense. Settle down, get back into it again. And this one, a late whistle there. And Turner finally realizing he's got it wrapped up in his glove there. And we'll get a whistle. 15 18 to go here in the second period. Yeah, I think they were letting Turner decide whether or not he wanted to keep the play on. And as I've said many times, goaltenders lose tactile feel up there in that chest area. Can't find the puck. Back out to the line, Poirier shot, deflected up and over the mesh. Well, the Mules are certainly giving Gay Poirier some extra attention, trying to know where he is in the offensive yeah. zone at all times. He can snipe from anyways on the faceoff here. Yeah. 50 points on, yeah. the, on the year. Not too shabby. As this one now comes into the near side corner, back outside, Marcotte, quick snapshot. That one goes wide of the net. Back over to the wall. Chance here now as Poirier lets one fly, and a glove save again by Turner. So he'll hold on. And when I talked with Jordi Kanoran about this matchup against Colby, obviously the third time that they've seen them, talked about the two other meetings, and uh, they said, had their chances the first time up here. Game went to OT. And then he said the second time around, as you mentioned earlier, Rob, the penalties got him as that game progressed. Trying to stay disciplined tonight. Here's Marcotte with a shot. That one never got through. Back over to the wall. Brooks with it. Tries to thread a pass through the neutral zone. Now he'll carry it through himself. Fends off a check. Lost the puck, though. Up to center now. Across the line. Here comes Bello. Bello trying to work his way into the zone. Poirier steamrolls his man. And the puck goes back behind the net. Poirier there throws another check. It's one thing I think that the Mustangs definitely have, I think, in their favor is the physicality. If they can use that a little bit here to their advantage tonight, that could be something that could pay dividends later down the line. Here's Pawson in on the forward check as the Mules try and push it over the stripe. Handled there by Matt Poirier. Evan White having trouble behind the net, got tripped up there. Puck comes over along the boards. Henry Stone trying to clear it out. Up to center, nice job there to clear it out by Riley into the offensive end. 
13.37 to go here in the second period. Mustangs looking to come back to center. Mitten over the line. Bouncing puck in on Turner. And he'll hold on. And Mitten got tripped up as he was going to try and get the puck. Maybe find a rebound. And he goes down hard against the back wall. Yeah, looked innocent. Uh, might have caught an edge. Now they've got Mitten down, and he's going to need to get looked at. He hasn't moved. Yeah, Mitten's been throwing himself around out there like a rag doll and blocking shots. And now he's down here, but in behind the net. And I don't see. Yeah, they're going to get the trainer out here. The athletic training staff coming out. Of course, the athletic training staff has got to be careful as well yeah. because, you know, none of them are trained to, you know, be out on ice. We don't show penalties, it's, but we can tell you Mitten's getting up on his own, which is good. Sometimes you get the wind knocked out of you, and you, you're trying to find your breathing pattern again. It's good to see he's up. You always worry when they go into the boards like that, the shoulders and the collarbones and... He's yeah, going to make his way back to the bench under his own power, which yeah. is good to see. A little gingerly yeah. coming over to the uh, to the bench. He's going to get back on the bench. So that's a good sign there for the Mustangs. He's been an important piece, really, when you think about it, you know, to be able to uh, play an important role on this team, especially on the back end. Nice gesture there by James Sucarella to help the trainer off the ice. So the face-off here will come off to the left of Cole Turner. One here by the Mules, a wrist shot there by Knowles, never got through. Back behind the net again, Colby will try and break the puck out. Pass through the neutral zone, disrupted. And the Mustangs will lob it back the other way. This will go down the length of the ice for an icing call. 13.08 to go here in the second period, Colby with a 1-0 lead on the goal by John Bloomer, his 11th of the season, has put the Mules out in front. Record of 14-1-1 for the Mules, a record of 15-3-2-1 for the Mustangs coming into this one. Faisoff here will come off to the left of Sebastian Couturier. Over to the hash mark. Aiden Hartwell sends it behind the net now to Rio. He got upended, then he slides into another man, takes him out of the play. Hartwell will now give chase off the wall. Spun around there as Quat takes it back. Long pass ahead here for Bear Brooks. Brooks takes a heavy check. Sandwiched between two Mustangs players. The puck comes out along the half wall. And we are going to get a penalty. So Cody Ivey is going to go to the box for high sticking. And it'll be the first power play for either team. Kind of got caught up along the wall there. And I believe wasn't maybe the worst thing yeah. we've seen tonight. Well, maybe a stick just got up and made contact inadvertently, but intent is not part of the equation on calling penalties. And they'll come down inside the Mustangs defensive zone here for the power play opportunity. First power play for either club as it comes back outside the zone. Kwok goes back to get it. Stick handles his way up along the left-hand side into the zone. Backhand feet in front, and that one bounces wide of the net. Back now behind the net. Mules looking to get some offense going here. They already lead 1-0. A crucial kill here for the Mustangs, Greg. Goes without saying. Back to the line. Left-hand side, White. To the line again. Wrist shot. Quack saved by Couturier. So he'll glove this one down, get a whistle. 12.03 to go here in the second period. Off 
the faceoff. Comes over to the corner. Back to the line now. Held in there nicely by Kwok. Works it across the stripe. <coughs> Down in the corner now. Sucarella steals it for the Mustangs. Tries to get it out on the reverse side. Couldn't do it. They go D to D off the leg of Burke. Here's a chance. Old Nolton wanted to go on a breakaway. He's got great speed. Almost came away with the puck that time. Back the other way. Here's a chance for Kwok. Kwok at the red line. Left hand side works it across as he finds Bloomer. Bloomer the only goal scorer in this one so far. Behind the net. Played back out to center. 46 seconds left on the power play. 11-17 to go here in the second period. 1-0. Colby with the lead. Over to the wall. Handled there now as it's Harshman trying to clear it out. It's now reversed the other way. Colby will glove it down to the line and keep it in. Over near side to Brooks. Brooks, top left wing circle, throws one through the slot. Back out to the right point. Held in there by Stone. Rattled around the boards. Back to the line now for Brooks. They go D to D. Puck comes outside the zone. Oh, Alonzo there looking for the puck. And out comes Poirier onto the ice. Seven seconds left here on this power play. Colby down low looking to try and get something to go in the final seconds here of this power play. Brooks tried to center one out into the slot area. Scooped up again now by Spencer Lee. Big kill. Back to even strength. That was a big kill for the Mustangs. Sometimes you can build that momentum off a penalty kill. See what the Mustangs can do here. They got a three on two if they hurry. Across the line, Poirier comes in, trying to cut toward the net, takes a shot, and a save there by Turner. Yeah, Gabe just didn't have the angle. Defenseman yeah. played it well, wouldn't let him cut towards the center. Yeah, I saw that coming, right? He kind of had a tough angle. It wasn't like he had a direct line, and that takes away a lot of shooting options. Yeah, he's down the right side with a right shot. Didn't have the stick in the uh, puck in the middle. Couldn't get to the back end. Melanson takes it off the draw. Centers it out in front looking for Pawson. Pawson can't find it. And all of a sudden back out to the line. Comes middle. Back to Henderson. Now floats one out in front. Pawson again a chance at it. This time couldn't get a shot off. Out to the line. Rio a low drive. That one never got through. Back over to the wall. Rio able to keep it in. He got cross check from behind. And no call coming. He's looking for the call. Don't blame him. As this one comes back out in front. Backhand shot saved there on the shot by Keefe. I'd like the response after the kill by the Mustangs, Greg. Go offensively minded. Yep, absolutely. Looking to try and turn a negative into a positive here. Back the other way. Here come the Mules. Oh, nice check there physically by Henderson. Rio now behind his own net for the Mustangs. He gets cross-checked down from behind. This one centered out in front, and the puck goes back to the high slot. That shot over the crossbar. Physical play picking up. Back along the wall now. Chipped down along the wall. Sent back out to center by the Mustangs. Pawson will give chase. Mustangs here in the middle of a line change, though. Back the other way now across the line. Quick wrist shot there by the captain, Preston Lee. Goes wide. Over to Rio in the corner. Rio to the wall to Johnson. Can't clear it out. Mules will keep it in. Right hand wall shoveled in deep to the corner to Bloomer. Bloomer works it off the back wall. Now tied up there by Rio. Floats out in front. Backhand shot saved by Couturier. Loose rebound over to the far side circle. Out to the line now. Held there by Kwok. Kwok tries a shot. That goes over the crossbar. Centering feet out in front. Saved by Couturier. Loose rebound is cleared away by the Mustangs and back all the way down the length of the ice. Both teams make line changes. Mustangs trying to steal the way the puck here on the four check. They get the puck. Poirier with a try. That one goes wide. Back over to the far side corner. Brooks will pick it up for the Mules. End to end action. Now yeah, this has had everything here tonight. Back the other way now. Here's a chance as Matt Poirier will come through center. Poirier across the line. Trying to center one. That one went off the side of the cage. Now Poirier looking out in front, trying to find his brother. Here's Poirier into the slot. No shot with a one-timer. He scores! Evan Knowlton with a one-timer. And just like that, we're tied at one. Well, what a catch and release by Knowlton here on this one. 
Credit Matt Poore did the dirty work in behind, kept possession. You said he was looking outside for his brother. Well, he found Knowlton, and Knowlton bombed one, elevated from in tight upstairs. We're tied at one. As Knowlton gets the goal. By the way, Knowlton's had a good year for the Mustangs. You know, you certainly talk about some of these players that are a little bit underrated. I mean, Knowlton, yeah. 18 goals. That's a pretty good season in my book. So he's going to get his 19th here tonight. None bigger. Yep, and that was a big one. Ties the game at one. We'll go back to the penalty kill and then on the offensive yeah. after that, Greg. That good great. job by the Mustangs. Good, good kill and then good shift of strategy. They had to take it in deep to get the four check going. 7-11 to go here in the second period. You feel the Mustangs right now have a little bit of a grasp on the momentum in this game. I just feel like after the kill, like you said, after the goal here, they finish this thing off strong. They're going to have themselves a good look at a good per third period. Nice check there by Ivy. Clean hit on that one. As it comes into the corner, wrapped around the wall. Ivy wants to throw another check there, but he had to wait as that one cleared back out to center. Laboring back to the bench, by the way, for the Mules is Trevor Matthewson. He took that heavy hit. Holding the shoulder area. As this one now comes back the other way. And this shot comes on goal. Another save there by Turner. Back out to the line. Henderson trying to get a shot off. This one comes back out to Melanson. Mustangs are winning the loose puck battles right now, Greg. Comes back to the corner. Now four players fight for it. Back out to the line, Henderson. High stick. Yep, another high stick, and they're going to get a whistle here. They're waiting for this trainer here. They needed to get her across the ice to go tend to Trevor Matthewson. Yeah, it's a tough call because, you know, you've got to wait for a stoppage in play. Uh... Yeah, and, you know, almost in that situation, if that player goes down, he can get some immediate medical attention. But Yeah, once, once the play goes to the bench, you've got to wait for a stoppage, unfortunately. And... So they'll get a chance there to take care of that issue and certainly hope all the best for Trevor Matthewson. Off the faceoff here, comes along the wall. Mustangs trying to keep it in, can't do it. Back the other way now. Here's a chance coming into the zone as it's controlled by the Mules. They got a shot on, that one never got through. And then it comes back along the wing and here comes Poirier with it. As we said, Poirier with 50 points on the year. He's had one heck of a season. He's got 30 goals. Back up to center now. Here come the Mules. This one centered in front, but broken up there by the Mustangs. Nice job by Knowlton to send it back up to Poirier. Poirier coming into the zone. Lost it off his stick. Regains possession in the corner. Back over now. Handled along the wall by Knowlton. Out to the line. Nailed in nicely there by Poirier. Goes between his legs. Pretty. Now to Knowlton, the shot, rebound, out in front, two whacks at it, and pushing and shoving ensues. And they'll be separated. The love is in the air, but not here in this one. On a Valentine's Day, between two teams that have seen each other three times already, they know exactly what's at stake here tonight, a trip to the semifinals. Well, if you missed my... Valentine's message to both teams, the Poet Laureate of Munzameter, of course, is I. And yes. Roses are red, violets are blue. Keep your head up or I'll hit you. Has come into vogue here. More so in the second period, Greg. Mm. Very much so. Yeah, I spent all day on that. I was going to say, I was wondering yeah. about yeah. that. Kind of, you know, channel my inner John Greenleaf. What do you... <laughs> So we are, by the way, going to see penalties here. And it looks like they're going to be matching. It will go four on four, though. I think Coach 
take a look here what they want to do. The coaching staff's over and trying to figure out what they want to do I think here. they're uh, still dealing with Trevor Matthews in here. Okay, and I thought the trainer had gone across. Yeah, did she, she come did. Back? I think she's looking for more help or assistance. Let's see what is going on here. So they're looking for an ice pack. Okay. So instead of having her come all the way back across, yeah. the official's going to help out and get an ice pack on there. We're going to hold the clock for five seconds. 4.45 left. We'll sync up. Okay. By the way, four on four as we resume. And now a chance to steal there. Alonzo nearly took that one away. Back out to center now. Here come the mules with it across the line is Brooks. Brooks patiently waits, fires a wrist shot wide of the net. Here's a chance now for Alonzo coming up along the wall. Gets some support there from Melanson over the line. Melanson fanned on a shot with 4.20 to go. Here's Alonzo in front, back to Melanson, trying to tuck it to the short oh. side. He couldn't tuck it home. Oh, my, what a chance right there for the Mustangs. Up across the line, into the zone now. Here comes Quat. Quack holds it in the circle, comes out in front, stolen away there, and then bounced back out to center. Well, you made the point. Big ice surface, four on four. There's egads of territory out there for skaters. I think you want to have uh, Pori, well, I see him out there now. Gabe Pori is out. Here's a chance now for the Mules coming in, left-hand side. This is Strano, back out to the line. That pass just off the mark for Bloomer. Got to find your man in the zone. Two teams skating for a side for the next 45 seconds. Backhand shot. That one goes wide of the net from Bloomer. Over to the near side half wall. Handled there by Strano. Lost it to Sucarella. Sucarella. Going to try and work it around the boards. Back out now to Poirier. Poirier stick handles over the red line. Over the blue line. Oh, nice toe drag. Just couldn't complete it. 3.06 to go. Here in the second period, Mustangs have come back in this one. The Mules took an early lead here in this second period. And that came just about four minutes into the second period. And then about midway through, it was Evan Knowlton getting the goal for the Mustangs. It's made it 1-1. Up along the boards. Power play, obviously not in effect here. As the two teams go back to 5-on-5, five five, there was a 4-on-4 four four situation there for a bit. And uh, they take the time off the clock for both those players. And we're back to five aside. Both teams, excellent opportunities there on four on four. Melanson had the best one for the Mustangs. And one of the defensemen got his stick down just in time to stop that from going into an empty net. Off the draw, here's a chance now as... It's brought into the zone by Emmett Sullivan. Sullivan, a shot, a nice blocker save there by Turner. Puck goes to the wall. Now Knowles, shot, glove save, and then the puck comes back out again to Brooks. Oh, Cole Turner's been good. Yeah, he has. Good point, Rob. Been steady. Both goaltenders. Yeah, Couturier more in the first period, kind of bailed out the Mustangs a few times, and now Turner's got his chance here in the second to do it. As this one comes along the wall, Chance in front now as it's controlled there on a shot by Bullock. Goes over to the wall, up to center. Here's Knowles into the zone off the blocker there as the save waffle boarded by Turner to the corner. Yeah, I thought that was offsides. Pace picking up a little bit here in the late stages of period number two. Broken stick yeah, out there. Yeah, I saw Greg. that broken stick. And uh, I'll have to watch that on the breakout. There for the Mustangs, they try and bring it out of their own end. Mustangs still trying to muscle this thing out of their own end. They don't want to give up one late here, that's for sure. And this puck into the corner. Mustangs trying to clear it out along the wall. Lonzo can't get his stick on it. Push right back into the zone again, this time by Weinberger. Well, as I'm, as I'm wont to say, Greg, it's okay to tie the period. Don't lose it now. That's where we stand right now. Is this one will come all the way down. Deflected, no icing. Over to the wing. Evan White there goes back to his D partner in Henry Stone. Stone still with it in the corner. Back to White. 
Looking for the outlet pass. Up to center, Mules. Hassle from behind there. Bellow does a nice job on the back check for the Mustangs. 30 seconds to go here in the second period. 1 1 our score as this one comes back along the wing. Out to the point. Mules got a shot on. That one deflected to the corner and back up along the boards. Big check there going down was Mitten. Here's a chance for. Bellow now into the slot area, tried to feed it through, couldn't get it to Knowlton. Five seconds to go here in the second period, and that's just about going to do it. So two periods in the books, and it is Colby with one goal in that second period. But the Mustangs rally right back, and Evan Knowlton ties it with 7.40 to go in that second period, and that's where we stand after 40 minutes of play. When we come back, we'll have the exciting third period and a chance to go to New Hampshire and the semifinals on the line when we come back here on Munzing Media Sports. At Central Maine Community College, we are building things that last. We're investing in technology, new facilities, and offering more degree programs than ever before. You can get the traditional college experience at a fraction of the cost. And for some, it's even free. Wait, did she just say free? That's right, free tuition for Maine high school grads from 2020 through 25. Set your goals and find your path at CM. Let's build a future together. Same thing as always. Catch the front of the net. To make you what you are. Zero, three, one, two, three, zero. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Sit right here. Awesome. provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. so much and it's very beneficial to the criminal justice system. I was always one of those kids that watched forensic files. That was something I loved. Just a science person all around, I always have been. The instructors are some of the top forensic experts in me. They really know what they're talking about. They've been there, done that. CMCC is very lucky to have people like this. I'm an intro to criminal justice and criminal law report writing. That's a lot of the baseline of things I have to be knowledgeable about. I want to do crime scene photography. The forensic science program is preparing me to start thinking like what's important here, what do I need to look for like right off the bat. You never know what you're going to find. Helping people is kind of ingrained into me. I am so glad that I chose to be here. It's a really great program. Primary doubts in the heart. 
The instructors are super helpful. They really do set you up to be successful in the field. The new hospital simulation lab here at CMCC is a great addition. It's as close to replicating real life as you can get. We did an IV lab. With a mannequin, it's nice to get your toes wet before you jump into a clinical setting. Deep breath. CMCC is the best place to start nursing. It's challenging, but you are learning. We have a smaller size classroom, smaller ratio to instructors. It's affordable. It really provided me relief that I'm not going to accrue a lot of debt. I needed to set myself and my family up for success after. I'm going to come out of this able to actually practice as an RN in the real field. It's a wonderful opportunity. The Hutchinson Family Sports Foundation is proud to support Munson Media's production of live streaming high school sports. We recognize the hard work and dedication of Maine's high school student athletes, and we applaud Munson Media's pioneering live streaming efforts. The Hutchinson Family Sports Foundation. And it changes the game 35 26. This has been a wacko affair. You can't win a game without proper planning and execution. Let Gosline Retirement Planning coach you into a confident retirement. Here at Gosline Retirement, we provide that proper planning and help you utilize a step-by-step -step approach on all facets of your retirement planning. We provide guidance on income planning, wealth management, understanding taxation, Medicare and long-term care, and legacy and estate planning. We pride ourselves on working hard for those who have worked hard their entire lives. So, schedule your appointment today and let the team at Gosline Retirement Planning put together a retirement game plan for you. I'm Greg Glenn, Athlete Brand Advisor and CEO of Pliable. Pliable helps high school, college, and professional athletes build their athlete brand. New name, image, and likeness opportunities are a game changer for athletes and for businesses. To learn more about social media marketing and endorsement opportunities for your brand, visit pliablemarketing.com or call 1-7- At Central Maine Community College, we are building things that last. We're investing in technology, new facilities, and offering more degree programs than ever before. You can get the traditional college experience at a fraction of the cost. And for some, it's even free. Wait, did she just say free? That's right, free tuition for Maine high school grads from 2020 through 25. Set your goals and find your path at CM. Let's build a future together. Same thing as always. Look for the net. All those little things to make you what you are. Jim, I think what you think, Jim. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Sit right here. Oh, provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. Everybody. We 
good, like I said, just a great environment, uh, well-ran tournament. Uh, it, it's just, it's a pleasure to be part of uh, organizations like USCA. has grown so much and it's very beneficial to the criminal justice system. I was always one of those kids that watched forensic files. That was something I loved. Just a science person all around, I always have been. The instructors are some of the top forensic experts in Maine. They really know what they're talking about. They've been there, done that. CMCC is very lucky to have people like this. I'm an intro to criminal justice and criminal law report writing. That's a lot of the baseline of things I have to be knowledgeable about. I want to do crime scene photography. The forensic science program is preparing me to start thinking like what's important here, what do I need to look for like right off the bat. You never know what you're going to find. Helping people is kind of ingrained into me. I am so glad that I chose to be here. It's a really great program. Primary in the, heart. the instructors are super helpful. They really do set you up to be successful in the field. The new hospital simulation lab here at CMCC is a great addition. It's as close to replicating real life as you can get. We did an IV lab. With a mannequin, it's nice to get your toes wet before you jump into a clinical setting. CMCC is the best place to start nursing. It's challenging, but you are learning. You have a smaller size classroom, smaller ratio to instructors. It's affordable. It really provided me relief that I'm not going to accrue a lot of debt. I needed to set myself and my family up for success after. I'm going to come out of this able to actually practice as an RN in the real field. It's a wonderful opportunity. I'm Greg Glenn, Athlete Brand Advisor and CEO of Pliable. Pliable helps high school, college, and professional athletes build their athlete brand. New name, image, and likeness opportunities are a game changer for athletes and for businesses. To learn more about social media marketing and endorsement opportunities for your brand, visit pliablemarketing.com or call 1707-PLIABLE. USCAA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. Ice has been resurfaced here. We're getting set for what should be a very entertaining third period. We want to thank everybody here at Colby for helping us out, get us in, and great in here in the rink. And as soon as I got here, it got good, Greg, because uh, I pulled my uh, looking for a spot, Chris and I, in the parking lot. And we said, oh, there's one. Pulled in. It was for EV parking, oh, yes. which works very well for me. And yeah. I said, well, geez, I wonder I got out. Got my little card out, activated, plugged in. So I'm getting free electrons. All right, there huh? you go. <laughs> if you don't know, I've got an EV yeah. uh, electric vehicle that I purchased about the time that we started doing 100 games for Central Maine Community right, College. Yeah, yeah. And running all back and forth there is uh, is perfect. And of course, yeah. down at uh, at CM, I have uh, they set me up with uh, able to charge down oh, there and all great. that. So oh. that's really great. And you know, you know, people get into all the political stuff with EVs and all this. I, I don't play that game. I'm too old for that, those uh, types of arguments. All I know is it works for me in my case. There you go. Your mileage, <laughs> your mileage he says, your mileage may vary. Yes, yes, <laughs> but, uh, that's right. It, it works slick for me with the electric uh, vehicle doing the games I'm doing. I got enough room to put all my gear in and yep. off we go. We got an abbreviated setup that we we use for uh, on the road like this and it's working out very well. Uh, it's a new piece of equipment and your donations, uh, those of you who donated to us, have gone right to that. 
Second and third period coming up, Greg. Back to Greg Lynn, voice of Mustangs hockey. I was going to say there won't be any energy shortage in this third period in a 1-1 game, Rob. I can tell you that right now. We get set to go here. Mustangs in their road red uniforms tonight with the white numbers and black trim. Colby in their traditional blue uniforms with the white numbers as we get underway here in the third period. If you're just joining us, John Bloomer started the scoring for Colby. And then the Mustangs were able to tie it up with a goal by Evan Knowlton. That's where we stand right now as we get into the early stages of the third period. It'll be a power play coming up for the Mustangs. Well, oh. how about that? That's a great way to start the period. And Alonzo with an unbelievable opportunity right to the side of the cage just before that penalty was called. And the Mustangs came out in full gallop, Greg, got into the zone, set up the four check, got the Alonzo chance, and then stayed in the zone and got the first power play opportunity of the night for them. Well, I feel like the Mustangs, like I said, toward the end of that second period, I feel like momentum right now is on their side. They're a little deeper tonight. They've got a few more skaters tonight uh, than Colby. And that can pay dividends down the line. They'd love to pop one in here. They got a fresh sheet of ice too. That's a big advantage. Up to center now, Poirier across the line here as they work it into the zone. Poirier sends it back to his brother, Matt. They work it along the wall, comes into the circle. Keith looking out in front, couldn't get it there. Now back, oh, Poirier wanted to let that one fly as he just didn't get the pass in the right spot. Now back out to the line, Knowlton trying to go over to the far side. Drop down nicely there as the Mustangs work it around the zone. Poirier slides it down low. Knowlton, the tough angle shot, and a save there by Turner, and he holds on to the rebound. Yeah, Did you see Poirier? He was ready to put that thing right through the cement wall. <laughs> The muscles were twitching. <laughs> oh, 1847 to go in the third period. 112 left here on the power play. You make the good point, fresh ice always. Mm, yeah, quicker, quicker puck movement. Uh, obviously down low, the puck bounces a little faster, quicker. Here's a chance, Bellow in front. That one just directed wide to the net. Back out to the line and all the way down. Mark Kant will scoop it up back in his own zone. 51 seconds left on the power play. Up to center, right-hand side. Alonzo trying to work across the line. Diego Alonzo, one of the top players for the Mustangs. Centers one out in front. Nobody there. Bello finally comes over and grabs it. Gets a shot on goal. But Cole Turner, who has been up to the task tonight, makes another good stop. Yeah, I think both go... Tenders have seen the puck well all night. They've been on their game. and Not a lot of offensive opportunities. And a face off here, won by the Mules around the boards. Knowlton at the line, keeps it down low. He'll get it to Poirier. Now Knowlton comes over trying to keep it alive. Back to Poirier. Over to the wall. Here's Melanson, goes cross ice, but broken up, and the Mules can't get it the other way. They were looking for an odd man rush there on shorthanded. Boyer across the line, stick handles around the defenseman, throws it up and over the crossbar. Back now to the line, Keith can't get there in time. He'll spin it back the other way. Across the line, Knowlton. Power play about to come to an end. So now, chance here as we go back to five aside. Out at the red line. And this may be a penalty coming up here. Too many men on the 20 ice. Too many men, I'm thinking. Yeah, he's spinning his hands. And he's wanting somebody to come off. Trying to do some lip reading, yep. Well, it's got to be somebody that's on the ice at the time to serve that penalty. So it's going to be Poirier who's going in just at the end of his shift anyway. So, but now the tides have turned. Yes, this certainly opens the door for the Mules now. And they will get a chance on the power play. Both teams 0 for 1 so far. This one now comes back to the point. They'll keep it in their left-hand side. Broken up here, here's a chance shorthanded. Hartwell sees it, comes in, fires a shot, saved by Turner. Oh, he's been sharp here tonight. Just stood his ground, didn't he? Yep, very solid goaltender for them. 
As this one sent back down the length of the ice. 132 left on the power play. Mules having trouble back in their own zone right now. Over the line. Quack. Left hand side. Off for White. Shot goes wide. Back out to the right point. Held in there by Burke. Back out to the stripe. Burke again shovels it over to the near side wall. Handled there by Bloomer. Back to the line again in Burke. Bloomer along the half wall. Tough angle shot. Blocker saved by Couturier. Here's a chance now. All alone, it's Jack Keefe. Keefe on the breakaway, shoots and scores! Jack Keefe, the sophomore, gets a short-handed goal, and the Mustangs take a two-to-one lead. Well, that's a great heads-up play there by Jack Keefe. Well, sometimes a breakaway is too long, you get too much time to think about yeah. it. Jack had a long breakaway there, but he went in under control. Turner came out to meet him. Keith was able to get it by. What a play. But now you got to kill. Now you got to get right back in the kill mentality. That is the eighth goal of the year for Jack Keith. It comes shorthanded. With 16, 13 and counting to go here in the third period. Colby looking for a quick answer. As Rob said, they would love to try and tie this thing up quickly because I think you talk. I talk about the momentum in this game. It clearly right now is in favor of the Mustangs. Well, when you get a shorty and then a kill on top sure. of it, and now you're back full strength, the momentum's on your side. Yep, no doubt about it. Here's a chance now as Colby comes back up to center. Into the zone, chance here for Spencer Lee. Takes a shot, goes wide of that. He crashes into the boards. We got a puck that popped out of the netting that was already there. And so two pucks on the ice, can't do that. 15.42 to go here in the third. That'd make a heck of a game, play with two <laughs> pucks, Greg. Huh? We ought to come up with that, market it, huh? Market that one, yeah. We'll call it pliable hockey. That's right, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Take your pick. Uh, 15.42 to go here in the third. And the Mustangs have come back in this one. They lead for the first time here tonight on the short-handed goal by Jack Keefe off the draw, controlled by the Mustangs. Rio rattles it around the boards, but not out. Handled the line by Kwok, poke checked away from him. And they gotta be, and they talked about this, Michael Roy, the head coach for the Mules, mentioned the team speed for the Mustangs. By the way, power play has come to an end. And, and on the big sheet. And on the big sheet and shorthanded, that really caught up with them. Here's a chance now, though, coming in as Colby's Bullock tries to get a shot off. Bullock had the chance right on the doorstep. And uh, Couturier comes up with a save. He was really sharp in that first period. And, I mean, you think about the way that these two teams have gone at it this year. I felt like in a playoff game, they could not afford to go down to Colby one or two goals. And he really held the fort, giving them a chance. And now needs to help them try and prevail here in the final 15-11 left here in the third period in a one-goal game. Yeah, one of the keys to that, a one nothing lead for Colby, a power play opportunity and a huge kill for the Mustangs, kept it one nothing. Off the draw, comes all the way back out to center. Mules will go back in their own zone to get it with 15 minutes even to go here in the third period. Just uh, win every shift. That's what you want to do if you're the Mustangs. Win every shift, keep them short. Chance to bring it to center here as it's brought into the zone by White. Nice job there on a check by Sicarella. Yeah, and James was smart, got right off it. And this one bounced back out to center. Now it'll be interesting to see here, Rob, how the Mustangs play this, because you know this just as well as I do, is you have a choice. You can either try to sit back and win this thing, or you can try and go after it a little bit here and try and get some insurance. And I usually feel like the later is really the better option, because you try and sit on a, new, on a lead. It never really works out that well. It's too long. Yeah, it's stay on the attack. Kutori is playing great in net for you, so yep. if you do give up an odd man rush, you'll probably be okay for the most part. Keep the pressure on. I think if they can get another one here, that too really puts the Mules in a tough spot. 
We already talked about them being shorthanded here tonight with some of their players. That's a good tough angle shot there that actually worked out pretty well. Has a good scoring chance. Mustangs right now putting some good pressure on here. Backhand feed toward the net by Knowles. And the stop by Turner, and he'll hold on. That's a smart save by Turner to also cover the puck. He knows here as they get in the later stages of this game, they're not going to have the depth, and they're going to need some whistles, and they're going to need some breaks. Off the draw, controlled here by the Mustangs. Down in the corner. This one back out to the line. Marcotte shot. That was blocked. Preston Lee will feel that one tomorrow morning. This one back in the Mustangs end. Outlet pass to Knowlton. Knowlton now across the blue line, buzzing in, fires a shot, and a save there by Turner, and he holds on. Turner, one of the captains on this Mules team, along with Preston Lee. Lee, the brother, the older brother of Spencer Lee, also on this team. They're out of Fairhaven, New Jersey. Off the face-off, controlled here by the Mules. Doinked off the far side glass, out to center. Rocketed into the zone by Spencer Lee. Over to the near side boards, after it there, Estrano. Couldn't get a stick on it. Now the Mustangs looking to clear. Handled by Melanson, lobbed up to center. Keefe looking to split the defense. Comes into the zone, forces a turnover as the shot there by Alonzo goes wide of the net. Picked up by Brooks in the corner. Intercepted there by Keefe. Out to the line, Rio. Off the back wall, and it's off the back of the net. Taken along the wall and sent back out to center. Rio trying to shovel it into the zone. Mules will come back up along the left wing side. Shot into the zone. Rattled off the back wall. Shot there goes wide by Brooks. Up along the boards. To center now, here's a chance for the Mustangs into the zone. Shot there, that one wide of the net. Emmett Sullivan there with that twisted wrister. And Yordi Kanorin talked to me a little bit before this game about some of the shot selection for the Mustangs and really trying to get good quality scoring chances and put shots on net. And that's something they've been able to do here a little bit more of tonight. And now they got to be careful. They don't get too many men on the ice. Saw that coming. And that's an exchange there where you got a guy deciding to make a last second play on a puck before somebody else hops over the boards. And now Sullivan's going to head to the box to serve the penalty for too many men on the ice. You talked about Cole Turner making a smart play. Well, here's why, uh, Greg. He's a chemistry, biochemistry major with a minor in physics. So uh, I think Cole's <laughs> made a lot of smart yeah, decisions. decisions in his life. A yeah. wonderful, uh, wonderful representative of a student athlete, that's for sure. Off the draw here. Colby gets possession on this power play now. Well, Mules got to hurry back. They've seen already one shorthanded goal allowed. As Ivy works his way to the front of the net, Alonzo trying to hold on to the puck. Got tangled up there. Mules, by the way, 0 for 2 on the power play tonight. 11.40 to go here in the third. Lasered around the dasher board. Comes to the near side wall. Mules can't keep it in. Here's a chance now for Ivy. Ivy gets past the defense, fires a drive. That one goes wide of the net. Back the other way now as Poirier goes D to D here. Over now to Marcotte. Sends it into the zone. Knowlton comes out onto the ice for a fresh body here with 108. Left on this power play for the Mules. 2-1 game. Colby coming to center. Led ahead now as it's worked into the zone by Strano. Throws on the break. Centering feed through the slot. Back over near side. Stone with a chance at it. That one back out to the line. Held in nicely there by Strano. Centering bid out in front. Redirected and a save there by Couturier. So he'll hold on. 45 seconds left on the power play here for the Mules. Coach Daner up here going through all sorts of contractions. <laughs> it's a beautiful sight. 
As it comes along the wall, back out to the right point. Stone able to keep it in. Has it on his stick here. Down low, right hand side. Brooks now. Brooks the centering feet out in front. Turn around, shot goes wide by Stone. Back over to the near side wall. At the point, Spencer Lee keeps it in, hot off the boards, and floats back behind the net. Brooks able to get it. Penalty. Another penalty upcoming here against the Mustangs. Tough angle shot. This one goes up and out of play. So it'll be a two-man advantage here for the Mules for the next 13 seconds. And going to the box is John Rio, one of their top defensemen. Well, if you have penalty killers uh, a little bit tired, you, you know, you can always consider taking a timeout, getting say, things settled down idea. a little bit. Good call, coach. I like, I like it. I like the way you're thinking because this is two now back-to-back shorthanded yeah. situations. You need a, you need to win in a clear, and especially in a one-goal game. Along the wall, Hartwell trying to control possession. I'm feeling a little bit of comfort level starting to squeak away here from the Mustangs. Times goes back now to five on four. Well, they survived that end zone faceoff. They did. Now they got to survive the next 136 here on this power play. And they'll feel a lot better. Here's a chance as Hartwell picks it up. Hartwell, a little bit of a hook there. They let that one go. Boy, I hate to say it, but he should have left his feet. <laughs> and this one now comes back the other way. Here's a chance coming into the zone for Brooks. Had it knocked off his stick. Back out to the line. Quant can't keep it in. Well, the, the power plays tie you too, Greg. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> and they're short on their end, so that's going to be a tough situation for them. They may want to consider taking a timeout as Why? well. This one floats back down into the Colby end. Yeah, keeps out. He got a shot. He's, He's looking for another. <laughs> He's drooling for one again. As it comes back up along the wall, here's Poirier. Poirier looking to try and get inside the offensive zone. Spins one out in front. Keith couldn't get a stick on it. Back the other way now. Chance coming out of the zone for Spencer Lee. Couldn't do anything with it there. They'll go back now all the way through center. This will be an icing call. And that's something the coaches can't stand, especially on the power play with 36 seconds to go. Now this faceoff comes all the way back down into the mule's end. Faceoff will come off to the right of Cole Turner. Five on four right now, mules have the power play. Off the draw, quick shot there by Bellow. Good save by Turner as it ricochets to the near side corner. John Bloomer looking to try and exit the zone here. Needs some help. Up along the wall. Strano gets across the line, but stolen away by the Mustangs and sent all the way back down. Behind his own net, looking to start the breakout is Owen Burke. Long feet ahead. Left-hand side brought into the zone here. Shoveled in deep by Eli Weinberger. Even! Stolen and sent all the way down as the power play comes to an end. Another great kill, Rob. Fantastic job on the kill. They waved the icing off as well. Yeah, Keefe got down there, hustled to try and force the issue here a little bit. Slow to get to his feet, though. And now we'll try and go get it in the corner. Excuse me, that's actually Ivy. Ivy's slow to get up. He's working his way back down to the bench, but he's going to stay in this play. Ivy will pick it up at the blue line. Ivy tees up a drive. That one loose in front. Oh, the shot just went wide of the net from Knowles. Oh, Knowles had an open side if he could have rung it home. Chance now along the wall here as the Mules get it off the board. 7.35 to go here in the third. Game hanging in the balance right now for both of these two teams. And they're getting tired, Rob. Yeah, Matt Poirier just did a really good job there. Get it back. Well, undermanned a little bit for the uh, Mules. Extend a lot of uh, energy on the power play. Yep. Big sheet of ice. All factors. Now, two, you're going to extend a little extra energy knowing you're down one. You know, it's not a typical power play where, you know, you're trying to take advantage, but you know you need it. And that can also wear on you, too. Yeah, sometimes it, it, it tightens you up a little yep. bit on the power play. Yep. 
Poirier across the line. Lasers one in off that back wall. Yeah, I keep shooting in. Yep. Those are lively. Brooks here comes off the board. Stick handles his way through center. Now to the top of the left circle. Tries to get around Marcotte. Goes along the boards. Out to the line. Handled here. On that shot wide by Bullock. Back now in front. Saved there by Couturier again. And as it comes over to the wall. Out to the point. Faking the shot. Was white. Now down along the wall. Stolen away by the Mustang. Sent right back in. That's going to get out of play. 6-16 to go here in the third. Mustangs. Might be a penalty. The Did they? one lead. What are they call? No, I thought I saw a hand up. No, they're just trying to decide where the faceoff is, I think. And they need a new puck. Wait a minute. They need a new puck. It's gone. They got to get another one. Yep, that's what it was. Okay. 6-16 to go here in the third. So make sure your line changes are clean yep. from here on out. Yeah, they've had two too many men on the ice penalties, and they're lucky they haven't been burned by them yet tonight. But you're right, they can't afford another one at this stage. Mitten goes back to get it. Good to see he's back to good health here after he went down earlier in this game. By the way, Trevor Matthewson did not return after that apparent upper body injury. Yeah, he was still getting help uh, between periods. Yep. This one now comes back behind the Colby net. 5.45 to go here in the third. This one rolls back out to center. Quick shifts now for the Mustangs. Yep, as you said, they will head to the bench right there on the defensive unit. Puck comes back out to Keefe. Turnaround shot wide of the net. Dump it deep. Dump it deep. Oh, got outside the line. Poirier thought he kept it in. He's a little surprised by that. And the faceoff will come outside the zone. Again, winner of this one will go on to the NECHA semifinal. We'll take on Wentworth. It'll be Saturday at 11.10 a.m. Not sure about streaming on that. Uh, it won't be us. Yeah, that'll be in Nashua, New Hampshire. As this one goes to the wall. Sent into the corner. Mule's looking to try and get it out. Burke goes around the boards. Outlet pass up to center. Here's a chance now, cutting through the neutral zone. Bullock over the line. Left hand side. Sent in by Spencer Lee. Goes back behind the net. Racing after it is Brooks. Couldn't get there in time. Back out to the line. Clock takes a shot. That one steered aside by Couturier. Under five minutes to go here in the third. Mules looking for the equalizer. This is a wrist shot and a blocker saved by Couturier. You know, I really feel like the Mustangs can go deep because they've got that goaltending, Rob. I mean, yep. really, when you look at Couturier, he's just, he's head and shoulders above some of the goaltenders we've seen this season. I can tell you that. And Isaac Wright, when he was in there, he had a couple of terrific games as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Duchamp was in for a game we saw. Yep. Luxury not many club hockey teams have. As play continues here, Mustangs trying to get it out of their own zone. Up along the wall, Knowlton couldn't control it. Floats back in the offensive zone now. Mule's looking to grab possession. Ooh. Handled here by Lee. Down low to Brooks. Brooks bounced off the play and Couturier has seen enough. 4-14 to go in the third. Both teams do still have their timeouts. Yeah, end zone turnover there by the Mustangs almost spelled the disaster. I think it was Marquardt. I'm looking to see him come to the bench. I think it was Nate made a, no, it was Ryu, made a terrific play in behind the net. Knocked the man off the puck. Off the face off here, a puck high into the air, back to center. Bouncing puck to the far side, Dasher. Mules will send it in deep. Couturier stops it behind his own net. Leaves it up for Mitten. Left-hand side, Melanson goes cross ice, finds Alonzo. Alonzo works it off the wall, takes a heavy hit as the puck comes in front. Mules able to clear here as they get it around the near side boards. And kept in by Melanson though at the blue line. They're in the middle of a line change here. Every tick is important. 
Mules looking to clear. Backhand feed, bouncing puck out to center. Marcotte takes it. Being hassled from behind. Marcotte, and he goes down. No call coming as the puck now along the back wall. They're going to let him play here in the final four minutes. It's going to have to be something egregious. Marcotte takes a check. Knocked off his skates. Back the other way now. That was too many. They were looking for that one, of course. The Mustangs have been called for it twice tonight. Yeah. Now we'll try and exit out of their own zone. Stolen away here by Ivy. He's going to have to wait. Knowles and Marcotte were over the line. Back the other way now. Here come the Mules with it. Pass was fanned on. And another too many men on the ice penalty goes against the Mustangs. Wow. Well, you don't see that very often. So now, with 2.39, Rob, to go in this game. Yeah, Colby should take a timeout. Yeah, this would be the time. Knowles is going to serve the penalty. This will be the fifth power play for the Mules. They are 0 for 5. See what they want to do here. Well, you've not only got the power play, you've got the opportunity to pull the goaltender as well. Going a two-man advantage. Probably not yeah, right the away. Timeout. Probably a minute go. maybe into the... I would think maybe a minute or so, Greg, maybe into the power play. Yeah. And I think, yeah, well, you, well, the key here is winning the draw. You know, if they can win the draw and then they can get their goaltender out, that's going to give them a little extra time. But if they lose the draw, that's going to really set them back because they're not probably going to be able to get their goaltender. He may come halfway, maybe out to the blue line, and then make a decision based on the draw. But you have to look at just the season that the Mustangs have had. I was talking with Yordi before the game tonight, kind of just reflecting on the year. and. You know, he said, obviously, one of the best seasons they've ever had. Being 16th at this point in the season is the highest they've ever been uh, ranked. He said their quality of schedule this year has been by, by far and away the best quality of schedule. You look at their losses, obviously, Dartmouth, they lost to, you know, Colby. They played really tight against Calvin. Uh, took Dartmouth and Colby to OT. Yes. Those two teams, very good, very well respected. Uh, fifth and sixth you know, in the rankings right now, and a win here tonight would certainly be the icing on the cake to put this season into the memory books. Well, that's been terrific, uh, Greg. I'm so glad it worked out that yeah. we were able to come up yeah. here and do this game that, uh, you know, we asked if we could and got the permission to do it from the Colby side, and athletic administration at uh, CM okayed it. And uh, here we are, and we're seeing a corker and bring it to people that normally couldn't get here. We're glad you're with us. Face off here, comes off the dot, one by Alonzo, goes back behind the net, rattled around the boards. Power play here for the Mules in the final 230. They've got 152 left on the power play. Goaltenders still, yeah, there. I'll, I'll watch them. As it comes back out to the line, chance now here as it comes over near side. Shot there is stopped on the shot by Bloomer. And the save by Couturier. He's out. Empty net. So Turner has been pulled. And they're not even going to wait for the draw. I thought they might wait for this draw if they were going to do it. With 1.41 to go on the power play, they know time is of the essence now. 2.20, our clock not right. Okay. I'll hold it. As it comes off the face off, they're trying to clear it out. Poirier, two chances at it, gets it out the second time. Here's a chance now, cutting in. It's Nolan in the empty net, they score! Another short-handed goal for the Mustangs. And this one's not over yet, but if you got a remote car starter, you might be starting your car. What a goal there. Again, short-handed, Rob. And Knowlton goes the length of the ice. Well, he ended up another breakaway. I mean, of course, yeah. you know, the goal being empty was a huge advantage, <laughs> but you got to win that face-off and make it work, and they did again. Wow. Yes. What a goal. They have survived. They've been in survival mode. 
And again, this is still a power play. They've got Turner back between the pipes, though. And so now the Mustangs here leading 3-1. This one's sent all the way down. One thirty-eight to go here in the third. Back up to center, left wing side, into the zone here. As it's carried in, Quack trying to get something going. Mustangs get it out to the line. They can't clear it. Turner going to get off the ice again. Mustangs steal it again, but they can't get it out. Brooks down low, redirect, bouncing puck, shot there. Never got through. Now another chance. They try to bounce it off of Couturier. Another save. Back over now to the corner. 30 seconds left of the power play. Back out to the right point. Handled there now, and Bullock can't get the shot off. Bullock pulls it back out again. Slides it over now. Here's Chance as the Mules trying to set up shop on this power play. They'll go cross ice with it. Here's a chance, that one by Strano goes wide. Back over to the wall now. Chipped off the glass and sent back out to center. Get a smart change. Spencer Lee carries back up to center. Power play comes to an end. Five kills tonight for the Mustangs. 34 seconds left here in the game. Backhand shot and it just goes off the side of the cage. Picked up now by Brooks, it's thrown away by Keefe. Keefe looking for some help. And it comes all the way back outside the zone. One more, come on. Mittens looking at that empty net. He takes a crack at it, goes wide of the net. That's an icing, yeah, I was gonna say, he was not behind. He didn't get across that red line, he was behind it, and that's gonna be uh, in zone face off, but 11 seconds to go. And this one's just about in the books. And it looks like here we're going to get a timeout from the Mustangs. A safe bet here to make sure everything is in good standing and they don't have a miscue that could end up costing them. So also just get a breather, talk this over, make sure that they understand what's at stake, what the play is here. No need to go shooting at that empty net. At this point, you're up 3-1. Don't give them another chance here. Just control. Yep, just get time of possession and wrap this thing up what and a, head on to the semifinals. What a win for the Mustangs, Greg. Yeah. What a win. I'm so glad we are able to come up and bring this to all the Families that couldn't get here tonight, and thank you for all your fine support during the year, your wonderful comments of our coverage of Mustangs hockey. We truly love our kids who play yeah, I on the ice and on the courts and on the fields. And yeah, it is, It's a special place, and uh, the Mustangs are first class all the way, and uh, so are the fans, and we appreciate you tuning in. And being part of something special this year, and it's not over yet, my friends. Congratulations to the women's basketball team. They won tonight. Perfect. Haven't checked in on the men yet. Been busy here. <laughs> Off the draw, controlled by the Mustangs, sent back out to center. Nolton will give chase here, causing some problems. And the Mules had problems tonight, and the Mustangs are going to advance to the semifinals on Saturday with a 3-1 win here at Colby College. They pull off the upset, and the Mustangs will have 16 wins now on the season, and one of the biggest wins in program history here tonight. Well, what is it they say, the old adage, it's hard to beat a really good team three times, and Colby won the first two matches. This is the one that counts on to the playoffs. Go the Mustangs over the weekend. They'll be in New Hampshire for that. And as we said, uh, obviously, uh, this is the first road game that we have ever done uh, for Central Maine Com Community College. Uh, so we're glad to be able to be here for that uh, tonight. But uh, we're not traveling to New Hampshire this weekend. We have basketball <laughs> at, uh, at CM this weekend. Well, it uh, should be a very fun ride for the Mustangs back home as they get ready to travel, as we said, to New Hampshire on Saturday. They'll take on Wentworth. That's going to be an 11-10 a.m. start in the semifinals. So congratulations to the Mustangs on a big win here tonight. Uh, Edge Nutrition player of the yes, game. Yes, absolutely. Greg, Edge Nutrition. This is an easy one tonight. Evan Knowlton 
is going to be our Edge Nutrition player of the game. Two goals here tonight as uh, he gets his 19th and his 20th. He is the Edge Nutrition player of the game. So the Mustangs able to celebrate the victory. And again, also a big shout out, I think, uh, kind of, if you will, to Sebastian Couturier, who had a great performance uh, early on in this game, yep. I think, set the tone and uh, helped them get the victory here tonight. Final score, the Mustangs three and the Mules one. Again, for our entire crew here on Munzing Media Sports, a huge thank you for you for tuning in all season long. And be sure to follow the Mustangs on cmmustangs.com for all the latest news and information on this special season. So that's going to do it from us here at Colby College tonight for our entire Munzing Media Sports crew. My broadcast partner, Rob Munzing. I'm Greg Glenn. We're glad you could tune in. Have a great night, everybody.